The second item on today's agenda is with, again, substantially the same material available. I'm adding tomato, one tomato, and the remaining juice. I'm leaving minimal amount of tomato for the third dish. I then add, again, Remember, for the same amount of tomato and uh, brinjal, I had used about 10 green chilies. This time, I'm using only 4 green chilies. Some dhania. Some curry leaves. A few methi seeds. A few cumin seeds. Turmeric. And very, very little mustard seeds. Again, like I told you last time, it is this mixture that will get to the mixy first. If you look at this grounded masala, you'll see the tomatoes a little less soft than last time. You can see tomato here like you did not earlier. Now add the portion of the brinjal. salt, which is again about a teaspoon, and a little more, and repeat the process on the mixi. This mixture is now ready for making raita, which is the second dish. Now you will take set curds and add it to this mixture. I'm taking about four to five full tablespoons of curds. Make it six tablespoons of curds and now mix it. The bagar for the raita will have some jeera, mustard seeds, a fair helping of coriander. And a few curry beans. Add it to the raita already made. So the only difference between the other uh, between the raita and the chutney is I add a bit of haldi to the bagar which I did not add to the raita. 